sponsored by Crypto Miner UK, check out the purchasing links below. But before I show you this, you need to like my video and subscribe. So now it's okay? There's just one more thing you need to do and that is to click on the bell. Uh, so that you get a notification when a new video comes out. I hope it's okay. Perfect. So looking at the firmware page, I can see that the rootfs file system has been updated with today's date, the 7th of January. So I'll download that. There's a message saying that our goal 3 and 4 will be coming soon. So that could be today. And that could be why there's a new version of the main firmware. When there's a new bitstream released, it means that your earnings will be higher. And it's like buying a new miner without actually paying for it. If you use the invitation code JMBTNQ, you can get a $100 coupon on your next machine or have 69 days of free electricity. The first thing I need to do is locate the IP address of the F1 and for that I'm going to log into the router. These three here are the T15s that I've recently installed and we can see one called Blackminer. The default username and password is root and root. The firmware on the machine is 30th of December which is newer than what my existing miners are but I'm still going to upload the firmware. It looks like it's already got some of the latest bit streams on the machine. Some of the older less profitable ones have already been deleted. Before I update the firmware I'm just going to copy the, my existing settings. So I'll replace the firmware. Make sure it's the right file because you don't want to break the machine. Looking at the hash altcoins own mining pool we can see that they're currently hashing around one and a half terahash per second. Let's take the average of 45 giga hash per second per machine. It looks like they've got 33 machines mining them by themselves the firmware is now updated and for some reason I'm getting a higher hash rate than normal of 62 giga hash per second so I'll let this run for a few moments because that is very high after a minute it's at 112 giga hash per second I can check this on the pool but it takes a while for it to appear on the pool looking at my other machines I can see that they're nowhere near that hash rate power consumption is also lower than expected it peaks to around 385 watts instead of being around 570 watts. Hopefully this audio is better with the gaming headset. Let me know in the comments below if it is. If you've liked this video and found anything useful, leave a thumbs up. If you haven't done already, please subscribe and click on the bell for more notifications. And could you also like my Facebook page? And I'll see you next time.